Okay, well here we are. We'd like to welcome you into Hospital Shalom. We're going to be walking into our waiting room right now. This is where uh, the people come every day uh, from 8 to 3 to, uh, to, to go into our clinics and see our doctors. And uh, uh, as you can see right in front of us is our pharmacy. Uh, we try to keep the prices uh, not only from our medical clinics but also our pharmacy down to where the people, the average person here in the Paten can afford to pay for it. Uh, we had a lot of problems and opportunities because some people could afford to go to a doctor but then they couldn't afford the medicines afterwards. Here we strive to make sure that they can. As you can see our logo or the Hospital Shalom is Sanidad y Esperanza. That's health and hope a través de Cristo Jesús through Jesus Christ. Our reception area is, uh, is covered by Anita. Uh, every day she welcomes our patients. We're turning the corner and going down the main hall to our clinic. So on the right here, as soon as we get through these double doors, is our laboratory where we provide uh, lab service for uh, whatever type of lab work the doctors would, would order. Our lab technician, Manuel, uh, works very quickly to try and get uh, everything done on time and in order. Here he takes all of his uh, blood samples and urine samples and whatever for uh, to do his testing. And down this hall we have our uh, clinics. As you can see that uh, there's still some people left over today. And our clinics are uh, pretty much the same as clinics anywhere you can find in the United States. Uh, we have everything equipped and ready to go. In the clinic right next door, uh, we're using it for our ultrasound clinic. And you can come in and see that we have, uh, have our ultrasound machine. And uh, here we do our ultrasound testing for our patients. Uh, our gynecologist uses this area to do his exams in. It's one of the bigger clinics and, and uh, uh, he works in this one. And the one next door to it is uh, what we use for doing our mammography and also EKG work or uh, uh, sometimes when we have uh, children come in with breathing problems we, we give them uh, breathing uh, treatments with the nebulizer. Uh, our x-ray room right now is, is locked up where we're, we're doing repairs on our x-ray equipment but uh, we have our x-ray in the developing room there and back through this these doors is uh, where we enter for our patient population we have a men's dorm with uh, eight beds in it the shower and, and uh, bathrooms uh, the women's dorm is right next door. It's an exact uh, mirror image of this one. We have uh, eight beds also over there. Uh, a formal 16 bed hospital. We have shower in this room and it's big enough that we can get a nurse and a doctor and whoever we need, a family member to help patients who, uh, who need help. And then we have our, uh, our bathroom in that part. Uh, Let's see, we'll move on down the hall and go down towards the, uh, the nursery. Uh, the nursery, we're, we're working very hard at trying to get the equipment ready so that we can perform neonatal intensive care in here. Uh, it's something that's, that we feel is very important in the area. Uh, we have uh, our cribs for our smaller patients and uh, as you can see in here we have our incubators uh, we have patient monitors all set up for babies uh, along with our uh, uh, pulse oximeters and uh, 
baby warmers, we have uh, therapy lights, uh, along with our incubators to uh, provide services for those children that need it. Uh, we have uh, two brand new uh, respirators that uh, we're still waiting on nebulizers and, and tubing to, to connect to that. We have uh, set up uh, our neonatal uh, defibrillators and everything else that we need to do intensive care neonatal service to the children of the Patent. Uh, it's really, really, really important for us to get this finished up because it'll be the only neonatal intensive care center in the Patent, which is 25,000 square miles.